Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix you need the official WhatsApp to use this account. So if you are facing this kind of issue and you would like to fix it, then in the right video, I'll explain why this is happening to you. And I'll walk you through different solutions to solve this problem. So follow along as I guide you step by step. And if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and turn the notification bell for more tutorials like this. So without further ado, let's begin. So why are you getting this error message on your WhatsApp? So the reasons behind it, the first one is third-party applications. So if you're using modified or third-party WhatsApp application, the official WhatsApp servers will detect and restrict access to your account because unofficial apps carry malware that can steal your data. So official WhatsApp is currently banning users using such apps and your account might be permanently banned. Another reason is account suspension. So if your account might have been suspended or restricted by WhatsApp due to violation of their terms of services, such as sending spam or engaging in prohibited activities, your account might get this error message too. Another reason is outdated version. So if you're using an outdated version of WhatsApp, it may not be compatible with the latest security protocols and features required by the official WhatsApp servers. Another reason is device compatibility. In some cases, the device you're using might not be compatible with the official WhatsApp applications, leading to this error message. This could happen if you're using an older or unsupported device. But most of us rely on the, the first reason or the second reason. Now you know the reasons, it's time to fix this problem. So the first solution will be deleting modified WhatsApp data. Now to do so, you need to open your internal storage. Now select the folder that has the modified WhatsApp name on it. So in my case, it's GB WhatsApp. So tap on that. Then select Catch. Now delete all files. Select all files and delete them. Now go back. Tap on that GB WhatsApp folder. Tap on those three dots. Then select delete permanently. Tap on that option. And then tap on delete folder. Now after doing that, you need to go back. Now you need to uninstall the modified WhatsApp version. So tap and hold and uninstall that application. Now after doing that, the next step is to install the original WhatsApp application. Now open your Play Store or App Store. Now search for WhatsApp. Then make sure you install this application in your device and log in to WhatsApp by your phone number. Now in case you get the same error message, the next step is crucial. Now from a different device, you need to log into WhatsApp via the browser. Now to do so, open the browser that you normally use. So in my case, I'll open my Chrome browser. Now on the search bar, just type in WhatsApp web. Then you enter. So click the very first link. Now tap on those three dots at the top right corner. Then make sure you enable desktop site. After doing that, now zoom in. Then click where it says link with phone number. So tap on that. Now submit your phone number. Then tap on the next button. So WhatsApp will generate a code for you. So you need to copy this code. From secondary phone, open WhatsApp application. Tap on those three dots at the top right corner. Then select linked devices. Tap on that option. Then tap it says link a device. 
then click here at the bottom that says link with phone number instead so tap on that option now here is where you paste the code that's what that whatsapp generated earlier so we'll go back and copy the code so after pasting the code you'll automatically log into your account and the error message will be fixed so with those solutions you can easily fix this error message so that is for me today so if you find value in this video don't forget to give a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and turn on notification bell icon to be notified whenever i upload a new video so thank you for watching hope to see you in the next one